violence is part and parcel of country life. I learned how to stitch up a bleeding wound, load and fire a shotgun. My hands did these things, but I was never easy in my mind. Way down in the water. I held his heartbeat in my hand. Way down in the water. All that time he was gone, I only prayed for him. Over there, I was a liberator. People lined up in the streets waiting for us. Sometimes I actually miss it. Yeah, me too. I'm coming back from the fire. You're the one I always talk about. I own and I own a parcel. So the only way to get up from under their foot. Crawling back from the side. I don't want you working for them. I won't be working for them. I'll be working for us. How are you ladies doing? First, first congratulations on a, on a great performance. I love seeing both of your characters on screen and they brought a lot to this project. But my first question is, Mudbound is being distributed through Netflix. Netflix is a home for binge watching, so I want to know from both of you, like, what was the first thing you binge watched on Netflix? Um, Black Mirror yeah. and Ozark. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I love those. How about you? I think the first thing I binge watched was Bloodline. Did you see uh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then Designated Survivor. Oh. Uh, okay. Quite intensely after that. All right, so. So this movie takes on a period that we haven't really seen on film. We've seen slavery, we've seen a little bit of reconstruction, but this period right after World War II is like kind of unique, especially Mississippi Delta. Was there a lot that you guys learned about the period itself and what was going on, or was this a continuation of the history you knew was happening? Well, it seems to me um, that it's a continuation um, it's nothing new. I, we, I didn't learn anything new except for we have a long way to go. I mean, yeah. th that's not new either, but you know, that's, that's, you know, there was nothing new to learn. It was kind of sad. Yeah. <clears throat> for me, it was a big learning curve. I mean, you know, this isn't my country or my history, um, although we share a lot of the same problems. Um, but it was a period of history that I hadn't given thought to. I hadn't thought about black soldiers going, fighting for their country dying for their country and returning to a country that treated them with such disdain. Like, it had never really been something I'd, I knew it intellectually, but I'd never thought about it, and I found that really shocking. What do you think about uh, the excuse for the ignorance of, of a community that, that says that things like that were in a certain time and were okay, and that we should just look at it through the lens of time and think that, oh, it was okay because people didn't know. I mean, it's... it's do, should we excuse things because it was different times, or should we look at all prisms of history as like what it, what it is today? You know, through through the prism of what's right today. I think. Uh, well, first of all, uh, are we talking about we're talking about looking back and making judgments on things that have happened historically? Yeah. I think you can you can say what is right and wrong and what is you know, and I think you know we've. We can, you can look back at that time and say that the behavior was despicable and the laws were despicable and um, you know I think I don't think you can uh, grant for, you know forgiveness or passes for a social construct I think what's interesting in this film is you're looking at so many different narratives and you are getting into the mindset of people who were brought up to believe a certain thing um, and that can I think that can provoke conversation about how we how we believe today we're not now raised in a society um, where we are told to believe uh, certain things, but uh, somehow those st sentiments still remain. And and why is that? And why do we still have racism so rampant? And why do we still have white nationalists marching the streets and the Ku Klux Klan? Um, you know, these should be. This should be a bygone era, which we should be uh, ashamed of. And and it's not. It's current, and that's what this film does. I want to know for you, uh, Mary. We we were introduced to you as an artist uh, musically, and we've. You know, loved your albums over the years. Putting together this project, as opposed to putting together an album or something, is there any similarities as an artist in the the, the project? Putting together a project. Well, I I didn't with this character. I, I didn't put together anything. It was all Dee's direction. Um, it was a lot of my emotion and my history from you know my childhood. My mom and dad were both Southern. And they came to New York and they had me. And But my mom ended up being a single parent mother, sending me down south every summer. So I was able to see this character, which was my grandmother and my aunts, and apply that to this, this character. As far as wardrobe and what you know her makeup would look like and who, who was Florence, that was all Dee Reese's direction. 
um, completely. So I, I and, and making an album, that's all me, me, yeah. me, 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 me. But there was a lot of me inside this character. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I love this project. I hope it uh, gets recognized by all the award guilds. And uh, I love seeing you guys on screen. Keep on doing your thing. We'll keep on watching. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You.